bit of tea. Ooh. Hey there everyone, it's AJ and it is time for Tea with AJ. We are on the precipice of March 2021 and this is Friday the 26th of March, of April, February, yeah, February. So we still got a bit of a ways to go, but it's a weekend and I have got lots of stuff planned for the weekend, especially since this arrived today. And this is what I've been waiting for, something that I have been really excited to receive. I've been following the tracking and it, I tell you what, it was in Memphis uh, for a very long time. But it finally did arrive and I can open it here on my Tea with AJ vlog, which I am really excited to do and just show you what it is that I have spent more of my money on. Let's begin. So I have been following this artist for a very long time on YouTube, as, as probably many other people have. He is like the sort of almost original, one of, almost one of the original sort of art YouTubers out there. Um, and he's been there for a very long time. But, and of course, it is going to be upside down. Um, but... Here it is. It's, uh, yeah. We've got the Jazza Sculpty box. Oh, yes. So I've been wanting to get into some sort of sculpting thing for a while now. It's been something that I've been quite interested in. And Jazza released the Ultimate creativity collection box now I've already got a lot of ink stuff so I thought to myself it wasn't really worth me getting the ink thing and I think at the moment if I've got this is really heavy um, if I've got if there's one thing that I definitely know that I do want um, it's the sculpture box sculpture box I mean it would have been great to have had the mini box as well but the sculptor box is definitely something that is really interesting. That's going to be upside down on the thing. Um, let's flip that around so that it's nice. The box is a little bit battered, um, which is somewhat disappointing. But let's flip this around here. Jazz's Super Sculpty Box. Oh yes, I've been waiting for this and watching it arrive for ages and I wasn't expecting it to arrive yet because according to my tracking thing it still said it was in Memphis, Tennessee. So let's see how I can open this up. Let's, uh, uh, let's uh, get this here and try to there. I feel as though that should have had like a bit of a glowy thing to it, but um, let's open it here. <sighs> so I suppose I better just talk a little bit about what um, I'm going to be doing this weekend, really. Um, I think I need to get a bit organised, so I'm going to have a call with my friend Meanstin Art over the weekend and talk about what we're going to be doing to tackle March. March is uh, kind of like that sort of third month of the year where you kind of get to the point where you're sort of thinking, did I do everything that I wanted to sort of like do? Have I been exercising like I wanted to exercise and also do like the projects that you wanted to do and things like that? And I have done quite a lot already this month, so I know that much and uh, this year. So it is definitely something that 
I have been looking forward to, and I, so I get to call get to call with me instead and talk about like a year, um, the current way how we've been progressing so far this year, and also in the like what we're planning on doing for March and stuff just to keep that sort of momentum going. Do that. It's always good to sort of reflect, and I think sometimes you can reflect a little bit too much. So if you sat there thinking. Uh, every day like reflecting every day and stuff that can be a bit too much whereas if you maybe take a step back each month once a month just to do just to do like that sort of reflection and self-reflection kind of really helps just to kind of keep you going where you want to go so that is what i'm going to be doing over the weekend i'm also going to be playing with playing with some of the stuff in this i, I can't say another word for it because i am actually just going to be playing with it um i'm going to be playing with clay you know 31 year old uh playing playing with clay um so yeah that's what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be doing that i'm going to hit record and, and and do that as well i have got my video uh, ready to release for saturday so i don't have to worry about doing that i need to work on doing my 60 minute 20 minute and one minute challenge which i've been saying for ages that i'm going to be doing but i'm finally going to get around to it this weekend I'm, I'm feeling motivation and i am definitely going to do it that's my goal and I want to I want to do it I want to get it done and 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 do it basically I'm going to click out for now I think and I will probably pro probably mm, probably jump in over the weekend and talk a little bit about what I'm up to but this is really just me dropping in and unboxing this I'd love to unbox it in my sort of unboxing um vlog type thing but I didn't get around to doing that so yeah but uh, let me know what you think in the comments what you would like me to what you'd like to see me make with the monster with, with the clay and yeah what's your experiences did you get any of the jazzy, jazzy art boxes or anything like that because that would be great to to see as well so what i'll say is until next time i'll see you in a couple of minutes it's saturday the 27th of february and this is tea with aj and I am delving into the 60 minute, one minute, and no, I'm still getting that wrong. The 60 minute, 20 minute, and one minute challenge. And I'm actually going to be doing the uh, character from Ross Draws' Nimiverse. I do have the book, which is up on my sort of like little display shelf over there. And I'm really looking forward to delving into this and and basically bringing Nima to life in my sort of own style and doing that and I'm going to be doing that using the one minute no not the one minute the 60 minute 20 minute and one minute challenge so my plan for this weekend as I kind of mentioned over uh, on the last uh, one is to just kind of really get to focus on doing uh, some videos and things I am going to start losing a day in the week now because I'm going back to working full time because I don't have the annual leave on the Wednesday anymore. So I am going to have to sign, kind of make sure that I use my time to basically do more creating. So in this sort of weekendy vloggy type thing, I am going to be doing this challenge. This will be next week's video. So I will not have released this yet. And I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to preempt this and say that it will be released on saturday the first day in march the first saturday in march should i say so which would be the 6th of march so this will be released around um this vlog will be released on thursday uh, march so hopefully you will get to see that at the beginning of the week if i do manage to post it you will see it in the as a corner thing uh, over here or over there i don't know how it works um profits over here and yeah so that is what I'm going to do. I'm also going to be working on the Jazza Sculpty box, which I opened yesterday. I've actually moved it into a new thing. Let me just show you. So as much as I loved the box, I am going to keep it maybe, maybe just for the video so I can use it as a bit of a prop. But as part of 2021, I'm kind of in a bit of a focus of not keeping boxes if i don't really need to keep them because i do have this uh thing which i got for christmas one year from my dad 
and I am looking for, I've actually packed everything in here already, so it's actually quite heavy. It just also means then that when I'm using this as a bit of a prop, I'm not having to heft it up and things. I mean, the box is already a bit bent and deranged and stuff. So yeah, uh, that is what I'm gonna do. You probably wouldn't have never seen me doing this with the, with the box when it had all its contents in. So without further ado, I'm just gonna get on with, with today really and I hope you enjoy. I'll probably do a bit of um, coming back uh, during later on in the day just to recap on what I've managed to do, if I've managed to get any further with that. I am actually, just so that you are aware, I am actually thinking of doing some sort of uh, product -y type thing. So I want to like start selling stuff and things and I have got sticker sheets for being able to make stickers and I am thinking that I might do some sort of stickers, I might create some little characters or something like that. For example, you saw my Otto the Octopus on uh, the last video that I posted on Saturday, my sketchbook video, which I'll post again in a, as a, on a link to the card. And I am thinking that it would be quite cool to actually make that into a bit of a sticker. So I'm going to look at doing that, maybe refining it a bit more and going into that and see what I can come up with. Some of that might be done off camera, I might not necessarily do it as a whole thing, or I might do a little video on making stickers as well. So that's what I'm planning on doing there. Um, so I think it's about time that I got started. Um, I'm kind of just wasting a bit of time. I've been trying to figure out getting this video started for a good couple of weeks now, and I think I just need to get on with it really um, and I might do a video about that sort of I kind of like had this not necessarily fear I'd say but uh, just sort of like thing where I just couldn't really start it and I'm not sure 100% why I don't know if it was a bit of like sort of fear it's quite a big challenge to do and yeah I just really want to get it working so uh, we should see how that goes a bit as I say I'm gonna get started now because I'm still trying to do things Hello there. I made bold claims today that today was going to be the day that I did the 60, 20 minute and one minute challenge. However, it helps if when you're doing said challenge that you hit the record button. So it is with sorrow that I have to say that there will be no 60 minute, 20 minute and one minute challenge for this week's video. I am, however, planning on doing a little video on this little gem. I am going to be doing like just some little practice bits, just getting used to the clay, getting used to the tools and things like that. It's a bit like basically swatching and things. And I'm going to do it as a little bit of a video so that it can at least be seen and and do that. I'm not going to really talk because I did actually technically record an hour worth of footage for that video that I just mentioned before. But I think it's cursed and I think I just need to wait until I can do that again. But at the moment, so I'm just going to delve into this. I'm just going to put the top recorder on and do that. And yeah, that's what my plan is for for that. So just have a bit of fun with the clay, doing doing bits and pieces and, and stuff. Uh, so that's why I've got my cutting mat here and that. Hello there. It is Monday, the 1st of March. The third month of 2021 has finally graced us with its presence. Is that the right word? Graced us with its presence. And this is Tea with AJ. Yes, I am still continuing with Tea with AJ. I am doing quite well with this actually. This is the, I believe, seventh, maybe even eighth edition of Tea with AJ. I've done various ones over there and I'm really happy with how they are turning out and, and how they're doing. I have actually been looking and watching a few different vlog channels uh, recently for studio vlogs and things. I've been checking out Liz V Art and uh, various others, uh, OJ Art as well, 
uh, they're just people that I've met over on certain Discord channels and things and I've been following them and I've been really kind of getting a bit of insight about how they sort of do it and that's kind of how I want to kind of do it as well so I hope you enjoy the sort of formats that I actually do and have been doing for these I'm not really this is like the first sort of I've attempted studio vlogs before but this is the first time that I've done this many since sort of embarking on them and I'm actually really enjoying it and I'm hoping that you're enjoying you or you you are enjoying the journey as well I am really looking forward to Mart Mart oh dear uh, that's a great start I'm really looking forward to March at the moment I've got some good plans for it well at least I think they're good plans but I've got some plans for it and I am really excited to embark on the third month of 2021. That being said, there's going to be still more videos popping up on my channel, maybe a little bit less frequently than what they have been. I plan on doing the sort of vlog video still in the middle of the week, but there's only going to be one or two, of, uh, maybe two of those a month now. Um, but I'm still aiming to post at least one well, I'm still aiming to post the Saturday video every every week, as I have been doing since about June time. So that is sort of a little bit of a channel e update. The reason for that is purely because I do have a full-time job and I was able to book every Wednesday off for the first two months of 2021, uh, but that's now stopped, so I'm not going to have as much time as... I normally would uh, as I had been having for that so I am still planning on doing it and I'm also considering changing some of the ways I do the videos because I have done some quite fairly high production type videos so I'm going to be trying to do one of those a month I've been talking with my good friend uh, at, the, at the weekend about March and what I plan on doing for March and one of those things is sort of figuring out how I'm going to do the the videos so I'm going to start trying to make sure that I do at least one high production video, like for example, you saw my Sketchbook Fear video, that took about two weeks to do on and off, not full on, like working on it for two weeks, uh, on and off, and just like dabbing into it here and there, and then I had a big surge of it the, the week prior to loading it, loading it up, is that even the right phrase? I don't know, uh, putting it up out there. So that was that for that particular video and then so i'm going to try and do more sketchbook videos um i really want to sort of fill my sketchbook in 2021 uh when i say my sketchbook i mean fill more sketchbooks so um, i'll quickly show you the sketchbook that i'm currently working on which is this one so i started this actually for for the sketchbook fear video so it's been a couple like a week or so now since I've done that and I've already done a fair a fair chunk of it uh it's 50 pages and I've already done a good chunk I've kind of like just sat down and really been sketching I found so I found that I was only doing art for videos after a certain point which is kind of what I got into last time and it's kind of uh, last year and I kind of really didn't want to do that I really want to do art and progress with art and I don't want to just be doing it for videos However, obviously, because I work full time, it's a bit more of a challenge to do. So I'm going to try and make sure that when I'm in chill time and things like that, like let's say I'm just watching something on Netflix or something like that, I'm going to try and keep my sketchbook with me and do some sketching and things like and and and, and do that. So that is sort of the that is the plan for for that. I did actually sit down and do three or four pages. Let me just count here. One moment. Um, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, actually, I did six. So I did actually just sit down and do six pages in my sketchbook uh, last night, and I actually really enjoyed doing that. And I think I am going to start doing a bit more of that, and not necessarily sat at my desk doing it either. I'm just going to be sat on the sofa doing 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 sketches and things. I might. I'm, I think because it's that's sort of like my own personal time as well. I'm going to probably not 
put that on camera, just do that in the in the, in the shadows, as it were. The shadows. Um, yeah, so that is kind of what I'm going to do there. So today I have finished work now. I did. I'm on the late shift, so I finished at six and did a bit of exercise before that. It's now currently seven o'clock ish. So what my plan is to do some uh, sketchbook session, like things at my desk, just loosen up a little bit. And then I want to record Saturday's video. And I'm planning Saturday's video to be, obviously by this point, it sh will have been released because I'm not releasing, I don't know yet. I might have to look at the footage and see what I've got. But this, the I might start releasing the studio vlogs on a Monday rather than a Thursday just purely because of when I'll be able to edit the footage so that's another thing that might change as well I'm going to see how I get on see how much footage I've got between when I started doing this vlog and that but that is the plan for that I might even just do a little mini no I don't know because I'm going to definitely have to keep a bit of March stuff in there and um, kind of just trailing off on myself and um, thinking of things as I'm doing it but yeah so my plan is to start recording for the Saturday, 1st of March video uh, for not the 1st of March but the the 1st March video and I'm going to do a just a sketchbook study really just a bit of a bit of a study and do and do that and just kind of get on with doing some studies I want to I want to focus on hand so what my plan is is to take some photographs of my hands in different in different poses and things and holding stuff and and that and 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 do that and just as a nice sort of like video to say things so obviously one of the one of the things you find is you don't necessarily always have to search online for for references particularly for things like hands most people have hands so the chances are if you if you're doing art you've got your own hands so you can take photographs of your hands or even just do a video i'm gonna do all the secrets on the video but do do a video put put the video on and just like almost turn your hands put them into different positions do it slowly and then you can like pause it at certain certain parts and move the frames along and things so i might look at doing that just sort of creating your own reference images uh provided you got a decent enough sort of setup and and things and even even then you don't necessarily have to really have everything that i might have in order to do that so that's what i'm probably going to look at it's probably going to turn into that sort of video to be fair and yeah on another note what I'm planning on doing this month is I, I want to do the six fan arts challenge and I want to try and do like two pieces a week. I'm going to try and do it digitally and see how I get on because at, at the end, last on the last video of this month, I want it to be a six fan arts video and do that. And I'm going to do all six in one in one video, but obviously all sped up and everything. So that's my plan for that. That's sort of my, my big project type thing. And then I want to dabble in doing my Hayley Dakai stuff, which is something that I really want to get done. I want to start releasing some short stories over on my website, AJ's Creation Studios, uh, AJ Creation Studios, and just really focus on that. So that's kind of really it for this sort of drop in, I would say. And yeah, I'm, I'll keep tabbing in every now and then. I I did. So one of the people that I mentioned earlier, Liz V Art, they actually just relaunched their their online store or updated their online store, and posted some great things. So I've got some things coming in the post just to support like those smaller YouTubers and things, just because I I can do that, and I'd much rather be able to to do that sort of thing. Like I did with Zakura Art, I've got these cute little notepads uh, which you saw me uh, open up on the last vlog and various other things as well. So that is the sort of plan with that. So I think I best stop rambling and I just better get on with 
with with what I've got planned for this evening. So, yeah. It's Thursday, the 4th of March, and I'm dropping in with TV with AJ just to give you guys a bit of an update and things. The last couple of days I haven't been feeling particularly well, and I think I've discovered the reason why. It's sort of fur molting season for my cat and for probably other animals, and I think that I may be slightly allergic to it. So I took some antihistamine yesterday and I seem to be much better. I've got much more energy and things and it, I don't feel as wiped out as I had been. I had a bit of a headache yesterday. So I haven't really done as much as I would have liked. But in today I'm going to be unboxing this, which is from Liz V Art. I mentioned about it the other day and it's finally arrived. So I'm going to unbox this and I'm also today going to be doing a bit of my um, some more recording for the video that I want to post on Saturday because I've still yet to record the main art for that. So without further ado, let's open this. Oh yes, I, do, I love um, Liz's packaging because she always does this really nice seal type wax thing and that's always kind of interesting to see. I'm just going to open this here. Um, thank you for, so much for your order and supporting me and my small business. It means a lot. Don't forget to leave a review and if these are and if there are any issues please contact. So I've got a little card, thank you card. And to AJ. Let's uh, open this up. So I think these are the stickers that I ordered. I ordered these cute uh, there's a little ghost one and a little there's some little bonus stickers in there. That's quite nice. I've got some bonus stickers. Uh, but I got these cute little mushroom stickers uh, just purely because I thought they were cute. And yeah, and I'm going to sure to open this. Here we go. Let's open this bit. Right. So it's just like cute little mushroom stickers. I, I just saw them and I thought, oh, that looks nice and I'll get them and uh, do do them nice little sort of pastel -y colour as well so I've got those I've got this nice little ghost now as well and this um, sort of flower and I bought um one of the, her to-do lists I thought this was really quite interesting it's an A5 to-do list Thing, I'll take it out because I'm not sure if there's going to be too much glare on there. It's just this nice pad of basically a to-do list and what I'm thinking I could do is actually take one of these off and and uh, put it in some laminate. It's got like personal and work to-do list so it kind of like separates it. I just thought that'd be really nice uh, to have and I can use that. And I also, which is my first ever of this particular type of item, I bought some washi tape. I, I've i never had washi tape before and I thought it'd be cool to to get some and just see what it's, what it's all about because I've seen it online a lot and I've got this really nice washi tape as well. So hopefully... That will be quite good. I think it's good for pe pinning down like paper and stuff and it um, it's really easy to come back off again. So and it's also semi transparent. Is that the right word? Translucent, something like that. Uh, but yeah, no, that's kind of kind of nice. Actually, I think this is the. Yeah, so as you can see here, the washi tapes on there. So, yeah. That's quite nice and I'm looking forward to, to doing that. I've just opened it and see where is the end. There it is. 
Oh, it's really easy to thingy as well. There we go, look. It's just really nice. There. So yeah, that's what I got. Her shop recently opened. Again, well, it's been open, but she's recently just like added a few more bits and pieces, which was one of these. And the, some stickers and I think the washi tape as well. And I just thought I'd give her give a bit of support and, and buy some things from her shop. So yeah, I'm going to continue doing my um, hands video now, which I was going to be doing. So yeah, let's, uh, let's begin. Welcome to Monday the 8th of March. This is going to be the last little part of this particular vlog. It's actually going to be released today as well. So I am in the process of doing the editing for it. I have been dipping in and out and putting the edits on as I've been recording. But I am now ready to do and basically put it on, on further. This is going to be the new home for my vlogs Mondays hopefully maybe some days sometimes depending on what I've I've got done uh, but today all I am actually doing is just a bit of tidying I've decided to tidy up pretty much uh, my kitchen my living space and the uh, studio space as well just a bit of tidying ready for the re ready for the week I've actually got something happening tomorrow which I need to kind of conserve a bit of energy for so I'm not going to be doing too much in the way of uh, creativity stuff today but I just thought I'd drop in since I didn't sign out the last time I was on here so what I'm gonna say is until next time I've got to stop doing that until next time well uh, I've got the kettle on descaling so I can't really um, make myself a cup of tea at the moment I'll see you later.